This is CGTN, China Global Television Network. Well, a Canadian court has found two men guilty of aiding a terror attack in 2013 at the Westgate shopping mall in Nairobi, where 67 people were killed and over 100 others injured. Well, for more insights now on the Westgate verdict, we are now joined by Dr. Mustafa Ali. He's chairman of Horn, of Horn International Institute for Strategic Studies. Dr. Ali is also a security expert. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. It's been seven years since the attack took place. Has justice been served? Yes, justice has been served. Uh, two of the uh, main suspects that played a supporting role uh, in the Westgate terrorist attack have been convicted successfully, um, and, and one was acquitted today. Um, many of those who planned uh, the, the masterminds of the attack uh, inside Somalia have uh, have been uh, arrested also or killed um, and they, they, their, their networks have been disrupted. So justice has been served, but still, um, as is normally the case with these kind of uh, heinous crimes, there will still be people that are, are still out there planning uh, to harm innocent people. And therefore, um, it's up to the security agencies to continue to uh, 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 look out and search for these people to bring those responsible to book. Doctor, some observers, though, have said that the suspects are neither the masterminds nor the actual attackers. None were ever arrested or prosecuted. What does this say about Kenny's ability to investigate and prosecute terror? Uh, well, that's not entirely true. Um, these guys, you know, the, the attackers all died inside Westgate, uh, and 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 so there was nobody to to prosecute, uh, um, uh, uh, no attacker to prosecute because they perished there. Uh, secondly, as you would know, um, it's very difficult to successfully prosecute most terrorist cases. Uh, uh, um, advanced nations like U.S. and others have resorted to extra legal measures, means to, you know, put away terrorist suspects in Guantanamo Bay and, and, and other places. And, and, and so, you know, with, with, with this in mind and the decisions that Kenya has made to follow the due process, the rule of law, and still nab these people under very difficult circumstances, is something that is laudable and it's a huge success. Remember, it's very difficult to translate uh, uh, intelligence into evidence, even though intelligence is available about these people and what they have been up to. Uh, the, the judges will always want evidence and, and not intelligence information. And so the fact that the two have been convicted is a huge uh, success. Doctor, what more can Kenya do to strengthen its terror fighting abilities, more so to stop attacks before they happen? Yeah, um, already the, the Kenyan government and its various security agencies have been working very hard. There have been a lot of interagency uh, engagements, cooperations, collaboration, exchange of uh, information, uh, uh, international uh, uh, sharing of uh, intelligence. Uh, uh, you know, stopping money laundering and uh, the use of uh, money from proceeds of crime that may fund this kind of uh, uh, terrorist activities. The, the Kenyan government has uh, uh, tightened uh, many of these loose ends. And this is why today we actually see that there hasn't been a major attack for the last uh, so many years, except for a few, uh, including the one that took place at, uh, uh, in Nairobi. Adduce it uh, D2.